Well, welcome, Susie. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started, uh, founder and editor of um, of Wit and Well, which is an online magazine? Tell us a little bit about the magazine, what you do, how you got started. I am founder. We um we went live really very short time ago. We actually wow. we created a whole new issue every single week, which is exciting. And what we do is we share with our readers what it's like to sort of live through the world. And you said, we really want to know behind the glitz who yeah. Susie is. And that's what a wit and will is. It's about my musings, my writings, my thoughts, things that I want to share with our readers. And I think that they're important. I mean, for instance, this morning, um, so I'm in New York, and I live in San Francisco. I received a text this morning from one of the mothers in my young daughter's class. Yeah. Susie, how do I put a brooch through my dress without ripping the fabric? <laughs> so on the spot, I thought, well, I think you put a piece of cotton weave it in through very gently through the through the fibers, pull the cotton out, you're done, like a cotton ball. Yeah. So these are the kind of things that we share with our readers in addition to sort of the, the bigger adventures that I'm having, like with the Elite Model Look competition, which was so exciting, so thrilling, and my hope was that I could mentor those young models and take you and my readers on this adventure sort of like a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Isn't yeah. this fantastic to see what happens behind the scenes? And that's really the heart of Wit and Well. How did you come up with the name Wit and Well? I love it. <laughs> well, I think it takes very, very clearly a little bit of wit and a lot of will to get through our daily lives. And I don't want to speak to men, but for women, um, life can be a little treacherous sometimes. And if you sort of turn those those things that happen to us all along the way and turn them on their edge and look at them a little differently, then you can kind of move forward with a little more grace and know that somehow something will change and that perhaps there's an irony to it and you can find a way to laugh about it. Ask you, what do you care about? What are you really passionate about in your life? Well, of course, being a mother, obviously, a friend, a sister, a good citizen in the world. I'm very passionate about very intimate interactions. I think that, of course, we all want to have world peace. Of course. You know, I say world peace, <laughs> I want to say that little wink and a nod. We all want that. But I think sort of that mentorship aspect of life where you're interacting with individuals on a very intimate basis is extremely important to me. But as an overall theme, like being at Elite Model Look, I was there to mentor these young women. Yeah. And because of it, I gave something to them, but I received something back in that intimate interaction. How would you define beauty? Beauty, of course, is from within. There's physical beauty and there's personal beauty. And I believe that you can't, you cannot have physical beauty truly without having inner beauty. It means having a wider view of life, art, music, literature, being a good friend, being someone who listens and gives to other people. I think that true beauty. Who or what inspires you? My children inspire me, of course. I'm a passionate mother. <laughs> so my children inspire me. My friends inspire me. I've been inspired by my family very intimately, both, my, both of my parents and my extended family. Um, artists, writers, musicians all inspire me. And really just, I guess I take a lot of inspiration from being in nature. So even just taking a walk through a really beautiful environment and sort of being there in that moment, I find very inspiring. I definitely have very much sort of a, um, a pioneer mentality to begin with. So even when I, when I know that I'm feeling down, I just sort of say to myself, if you do something, if you are proactive, if you make a change, then your life will change. Even in a way, I try to look at every challenge as an opportunity to sort of spread my wings and do something different. I mean, in this last year, I had the thought that I wanted to share my voice. I founded a wit and will. I then went on from that and, again, did this a really amazing activity with elite models. And my voice is reaching people in a way that is pretty astounding. So I've had this year where even the challenges have all been moving me forward and have been pretty exciting. So I'm feeling in my 50th year, I've had the most productive and exciting year of my life. You are only limited by your imagination and your Im imagination can often be very limiting. Set it free, open it up and be open to any possibility because you have no idea what the world can bring to you unless you are open.